Then I'm going to continue with my clipper work by doing, by shaving his face and the bottom jaw. I'm going into my standard again and trying to figure out how am I going to apply what it says in the standard to my dog. So ex the um, explanation of a head on the Bedlington Terrier is it's supposed to be narrow but deep and rounded. It's also shorter in the skull and longer in the jaw. Covered with a profuse top nut, which is lighter than the color of the body, which we don't have here because it's a poodle. And we're going to ignore that, the color thing. And highest at the crown and tapering gradually to just back of the nose. So to me, it means it goes to back of the nose. Therefore, the nose has to be exposed and free of hair because the hair only goes to the back of the nose, which is right here. This is the front of the nose, this is the back of the nose. It also means to me that, and it also says that it should have absolutely no stop, which is this little dip between the skull and the muzzle. It has to be straight and flowing in the straight line. On the poodle, we definitely have a slight stop. And that's why we're going to have to really watch when we scissoring from the nose up into the back skull to make this line smooth and straight. But first, we're going to do our clipper work following the standard. So it says long, and it says narrow, but deep and rounded. And we have another little detail in the standard that the skull is going to be shorter than the muzzle. Since this is a poodle, we do have equal part. It's, a, it's slightly, the skull is slightly shorter on the poodle than the muzzle, but it also can be equal. So he actually does have his skull and his muzzle in equal parts. So we have to make it look like the skull is shorter than the muzzle. Ah, uh, in my head and in my uh, imagination it looks like this. 